Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. The Microsoft Support Diagnostic Tool, which by the way, in case you're unaware, you can just head to your search and enter MSDT into the search, hit enter, and that will open up and launch the Microsoft Support Diagnostic Tool. It's a small tool that lets you run diagnostics and send the results directly to Microsoft for further analysis. So quite handy if you are experiencing you know, issues on your and with your PC and with your operating system. Now, if you do find yourself using the support diagnostic tool, uh, just to let you know that the Twitter user, Rafael Rivera, has recently um, seen a new uh, notification banner, which is appearing here at the bottom, um, on the diagnostic tool in the latest dev channel build, 25276. And uh, the, um, the banner is basically saying that um, support for the diagnostic tool uh, will be retired by 2025, uh, which is the same year that um, currently Microsoft is planning to end support for Windows 10. So um, it's not known at this stage if Microsoft will replace the diagnostic tool when it does retire and deprecate the tool um, by 2025, as they are saying. But um, the main reason for this currently uh, is because, um, as I did post on last year, um, around about the middle of last year, 2022, in June, um, the tool was being used to exploit uh, remote code execution vulnerabilities like uh, for Lina, as one was called, and the other, I think, was called Dogwalk, if my memory serves me correct. And um, those vulnerabilities were solved at the end of the day by Microsoft with cumulative updates that did roll out shortly after uh, the tool was used to run remote code execution vulnerabilities. So obviously the tool uh, uh, is becoming a bit of a weak spot in the operating system. So just letting you know that if you are using the diagnostic tool that um, Microsoft has now started placing a banner here at the bottom, as mentioned, that it will be ending support for the tool and deprecating the tool by 2025. So at this stage, not known exactly um, if anything will replace it, but just wanted to let you know uh, in case you would be interested. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.